Hey guys. I'm starting. Yeah, you can start now. Guess what we're playing. Well, there we You're go. not taking Kyrie's hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, welcome to Kingdom Hearts because Sora from the Smash Brothers actually has his own video game. He does. Ryan For any of you uneducated me. noobs who didn't know. <laughs> Ryan said it, not me. I, I said this long before we even started. <laughs> Ryan Ryan beat me to it. We're just gonna go final mix so it's not stupid easy, but so it's not stupid easy, but not kick your ass hard. Yeah. Cause like I feel like the difficulty spike between cause like I've tried the hardest version and like it's bullshit. <laughs> the difficulty spike is ridiculous. But yeah, we're here with a new series to finish Spyro. Disney. More it's one of mine and Ryan's favorite game series. Um, more for the gameplay since... Yeah, the story <laughs> is, like, ridiculous. This is something I was actually thinking about in the car on the way home yesterday when we were talking to Aaron about stuff. Yeah. It was like, I think these games do a really fucking phenomenal job with character stuff. I've been having I don't think they do a good job with the story. No, because when you start retconning things as early as like the second like, game, yeah, this for real. Morky yeah. Mouse, Michael Rat, <laughs> yeah, Dolan, Dolan. Yeah, no, I got. Are you kidding me? I can't skip. We'll probably have to be back with this because I don't want to get a copyright strike from Square on this one. <laughs> Okay, now we actually playing this game. Yeah. Small child. It's so rough. When I say small child, but I think it's supposed to be like 14. He doesn't look it, does he? Has Nomura ever seen a child before? Actually, I don't know if I would trust him near children. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, he looks like he's 12. Maybe That's what I thought the first time I played this game. Like, way the fuck back in the day. Because, fun fact, I did a paper on this in university. <laughs> I took a class that was like video game stories, uh, video games and something whatever in university. And, um, we essentially each had to like pick a game and then play through that game and do a paper based on something in the game. Why would, why can't I do something like that in school? Because you're not as cool as me. No, my school isn't as cool as yours. I went to a, I went to Christian schools. Gross. They put like the, <laughs> on assemblies. They'd sing songs about the school, and I'm just like, wow, this school's got an ego. Why are you getting rid of the salt? See, I don't know what I want to get rid of. Get rid of the staff. Yeah, I'll get rid of the staff. Huh? All right, I'll get rid of the staff. Yeah, can I give it to you for the table? Basically, at the start of Kingdom Hearts, you have to pick one of two. You have to pick, like, what your uh, main set of skills is going to be as you level up, and then getting rid of one might um, adjust your stats a little bit. Yeah. Like, ultimately, you still get, like, the same abilities and stuff in the game. It's just, like, which ones are quicker to... Yeah, when you start with the shield, you get a lot of a lot more... Defense. Defense, or defense, but also uh, your level up skills are more... Not really support oriented, but around survival. So you get you don't get some combat skills that can be useful, but you get things like uh, with that one you get the uh, a skill called Leaf Bracer or the earliest. Leaf Bracer, what it does is when you're healing, you cannot be interrupted, which is greatly appreciated because sometimes the enemies just do not give a shit. Yeah, you got it. Just, eh. <laughs> just ba shield bash people. The heartless, intimidating little bastards, aren't they? <laughs> they look like little ants. Yeah, they're kind of like freaky little ants, aren't they? Yes. The enemies will drop one of three, or one of four things. Usually HP orbs, money, MP, uh, MP orbs, and 
my yeah. experience. And items. Now you yeah. get experience regardless. Uh, I just mean like physically drop things. <laughs> if there's like a little like chest sphere thing. Yeah, I know how to lock on. And this ultimately is just mash X the game. <laughs> So this is your only attack option. <laughs> your option is attack. <laughs> you will eventually get magic, but unless you're like specifically going for a build that encourages the use of magic, it's not really that important because <laughs> you rest you restore magic in this game by attacking. The most useful spells in this game are either have set damage or are support oriented yeah so your main like attack spell things are gonna be like fire ice thunder thunder and uh that's actually that's pretty much it right like because like you have like stop row which helps but that's not really an attack and then you have like gravity but that's also not really an attack it's more to help you attack <laughs> no gravity is an offensive spell but it does set damage a percentage of their eight of the enemy's hp yeah. <laughs> but yeah the most useful spells in the games are stop arrow and cure <laughs> arrow is a defensive shielding spell cure well heals you and stop stops your enemies like they won't act at all An item. Is that a potion? A potion. Yay, I can open the door. I forget, do I select my experience game first or do I fight dark side? I feel like you fight dark side first. I don't remember though. I know you literally just played through it recently, but like, I don't remember. <laughs> you get bombarded with so much by the end of the game, you can't remember how it starts. It's true. I don't know, experience game. Yeah, so these three ask you a question, and basically what your answers are will affect uh, the experience game throughout the game. Look, it's I, baby Titus. I think if you just select the, all the first options, you get the, f you get the fastest uh, experience game. What's most important to you? Friendship. <laughs> I think we can put like, the first two. Like the number one, the first two. It's basically sets anything. You can say anything to selfie. <laughs> Your adventure begins at dawn. As long as it. <laughs> Targets yeah. attack in the daytime, too. Like. <laughs> Your journey should be a pleasant one. I wouldn't count what happens to Sora as pleasant. <laughs> Also, those are Final Fantasy characters, bastardized by Nomura. Titus and Waka, the two boys, are from Final Fantasy X, and the girl, Selfie, is from Final Fantasy VIII. And now we fight Darkseid. Yeah. One of the weirdest looking Heartless designs ever. Well, I kinda like it, but... I don't like his, like, tentacle face. Yeah. I don't know, it's just more shadows. The heartless designs get more interesting as the game goes on. Because <laughs> there's like two sets of heartless. There's these ones, like, these ones are called pure blooded heartless. And there's emblem heartlesses, which are, they're the ones that have the more interesting designs. Also, also, yeah, these are like your most common enemy. Kind of thing in the game, but... Yeah, they're basically a game game. Okay. And I literally beat them off the shield. But soon you'll get a key. A uh, save. Yeah, I forget how hard this game tutorializes everything. I know the sequel does it, but I feel like I can mash X and get through it faster. Yeah. Just gonna save. We have no money.
money. Also, money is called is literally just called money. M U N N E Y. I get it. I thought it was M U N N Y. Oh yeah, you're right. I, I I get it. The money. Oh, it's because that's how Winnie the Pooh spells honey. As well, be Winnie the Pooh's in this game too. Yeah. Exactly. It's a reference you never thought about. Ultimately, though, the Disney ones and Kingdom Hearts, while they're neat, are kind of worthless. <laughs> they don't add much to the actual story. Yeah. I don't know, I'd be pretty afraid if I saw that just come out of my shadow. Even with his, like, Nightmare Before Christmas feet. <laughs> You tried to run toward a ledge. What did you think was gonna happen? He's a child. He's not smart. Grr. As intimidating as I tried to make this guy look, like he was kind of a joke. <laughs> like even like you fight him again late in the game, he's still a joke. Look, like really, all you have to do is like a. <laughs> to beat up your friend. Your daddy. Is it, is it, is it her heart is heart, her daddy heartless? Your daddy. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is where that part of uh, where they, that cue that um, Sakurai was set up came about, like how the game kind of slows down when you win a sword. So, so that's actually the funny thing, because all throughout my... I did a video for my YouTube channel, which was a showcase of Sora, and I was so confused every single time I won a stamina battle and that happened. I'm like, is this some sort of reference I don't understand? Yeah, anytime Sora wins an important battle in Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2, really any of them, he just slows down. It's like, look, you won! Darkness. Darkness. <laughs> Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, Sora. You are the one who will open the door. What does that even mean? It, it means that he will open a door. He already did. Watch him like open his bedroom door in the morning. Be like, the prophecy is fulfilled. <laughs> and with that, the prophecy is fulfilled. There are no monsters in your closet. <laughs> oh, I guess we can do one more cut. Actually, no. We'll leave everyone on ominous hair and see you in the next episode of Three Let's yeah. Plays. <laughs> Just hair. Hairy situation. <laughs>